Five. Here we are. Okay. We're going to cut it up. We're going to oh, cut, cut it out. <laughs> wow, we nice. didn't even rehearse that, did I know. we? That Those was kind of like sticky. Well, no, I had them crossed. Oh, you had them crossed. So, These scissors. Are, what are we going to talk about today? You think they can mm. tell? What would be your first clue? I think maybe scissors. Do you need a haircut? Sure. <laughs> Ah! My my hair comes and goes. It's it's all different lengths. Okay, so scissors today. So scissors. Are yours plastic? I think these are plastic. Ew. They're not gonna cut. They're not gonna. They're cut not gonna cut much. Wah, wah. Hers might air. actually cut. They might cut air. They're air like an air guitar. It's air an air scissor. That's pretty funny. Wah, 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 wah. Okay. okay, why in the heck? <laughs> this. Okay, now full disclosure. Yeah. I said, let's do scissors. And Dawn was like, oh, goody. She brings in the mammoth world of scissors. Every pair of scissors ever made, I think, live with Dawn. I have my share, and and Peter, bless his little pea picking heart, had to borrow this box to put in, let's see what he's got. Four pair, and I think he, he borrowed some of those too, right? Yeah, I borrowed two pairs. Yeah, so he has something borrowed, something old, something new, something blue, because that's all the scissors he could come up with. So he's trying to make me feel better, right? Because <laughs> he just had a few. But I'm still Dawn, picking. Dawn I'm still is, picking. Dawn's still picking. She has got every scissor with every color handle. These are my junk scissors right here. Junk these are. These are scissors anybody uh, can use, steal, borrow, bag. But there is a green thing. Do have to give them back? Yes. Oh! <laughs> oh. Yes. We have a little thing in the back room about yeah. borrowing things and not returning them, not like staplers. Putting, not putting them back where they went. Putting them back. From. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so scissors. Let's, let's scissors. talk about scissors. I, I, you know, I don't even know when the first pair of scissors were ever shown up, but they've been we forever. We should have maybe studied the history of scissors well, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. We don't care about that. We, we don't just, really care. <laughs> we're not that smart. We have now, fact checkers on staff. There's, we have fact there checkers. There is things that you need to know about scissors. First there's of all, there. if you're left-handed, you need to buy left-handed scissors. Yes, this is true. Not all scissors They're not the are same. either or. No. But some, so many people that are left-handed have not been allowed to really be left-handed, so they can make it do with, with right-handed scissors. But neither you or I are left-handed. So. Correct. But my mom was. Was she? You don't and, have any of hers here at well, all these? I was that's the story I'm gonna tell you. Okay. My girlfriend um from Chicago uh was her and my mom were pretty close. And when my mom passed away, my mom wanted my, her sewing machine to go to my aunt. My aunt didn't sew, she didn't want the sewing machine. Yeah, she didn't care. She doesn't really care, but mom thought she could use it for him and pants. But you know, she's she's gone now. She's Plus gone. Her heart. Yes. So I asked Teresa, my friend from Chicago. If she would like to have it, because I would think that my mom, that would be her second choice. Absolutely. Even though we didn't talk. But then I thought, with the sew machine, had to go the scissors. Now, her her scissors that she kept in her sewing box, I kept. But her gingers, her fabric cutting yeah, the scissors, good ones. the good left-handed scissors I gave to Teresa. And with, Teresa's left-handed? Left Teresa's left-handed, and ha she has the sew machine. Oh, so. what treasure! Yeah, 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 because you do get attached. I've, I've, I've got a pair here. Oh gosh, yeah. See, these were my mother's scissors, uh -huh. and I got them when I was about six or seven years old. Wow. And um, because I had my, like my snub-nosed little scissors like little kids used to cut and I was trying to cut out fabric to make doll clothes uh -huh. <laughs> and it didn't work and so you mean like, she gave me some real like scissors. These? <laughs> Not even like that. I mean the old like school scissors that were the metal ones. Oh that were, yes. And they're rounded tips. Oh, yes. oh, round tip. Hey we've, I think we've got a pair of those on I was here. Trying, she, she's got every oh, scissor ever made. I, uh -huh. I can picture the handles on those red yeah. scissors. Yeah, yeah like these. Only they weren't pointed. They, were, they weren't pointed. They were yeah. snubby. So I was trying to cut, and I couldn't cut my fabric, and she took pity on me and gave oh. me my very own pair of fabric scissors. Yeah, these are these are my collect these are my little collection of old old scissors. Well, why don't you get right in there, Peter? Well, I was trying to get right in there. He, he was. was. He was. So Close yeah. Up shot. So I mean, <clears throat> I think as crafters we get attached to our stuff because of what I it do, is. I do. I do. These aren't even really very good scissors, but they're just they're that old. So, you know, these are easily 50 years old, and they still work. Uh huh. They're still fine. They sound sharp. Well, they could use a good cleaning, yeah. obviously, but they have uh -huh. also were in my house. And what would you use to clean that with? Well, I don't know, Dawn. What would I use to clean that with? 
Well, probably I would start out with a little bit of alcohol. Yeah, because there's germs. <laughs> well, and if there's anything sticky. Yeah, it's not sticky. Then I, think it's I just... might go to that uh, Goo Gone mm -hmm. and it see feels... what that would do. And then if that didn't do it, I might would uh, try some Dawn dishwashing soap with a little gentle scrubby. Would well, you use extra fine steel wool? Uh, she could, definitely. But it might affect the blades, the sharpness of the blades well, a little bit. And in all fairness, these went through my fire. Mm. So, oh, so that's they that's, probably clean so them as good tempered. as they're going to get. Yeah. Steel. So they <laughs> they they need they need to be cleaned. But now here's here's let me let me see. Do you know how to know if your scissors are properly tensioned? How? Oh, I'm I'm going to stump on. Yes. No, she knows this. Okay, so Does this she, is how you know if your scissors are properly tensioned. Was she just acting? Tension. Were you just She's acting? acting? So let me show you. So when you, I don't know, you guys. Okay, when you buy a pair of scissors, good scissors anyway, have a screw right here that you can tighten or loosen. Much like when we did the rotary cutters, sure. you have you have an ability to tighten them. Uh -huh. And if it's too tight, for instance, like this pair, that they're, ugh, yeah, that's not good. So what I want to do is I'm going to pull that scissor down. Oh, actually, this is the better pair. And see how I pull it to basically uh, mm -hmm. to that point so where it's 945. Yeah, if it was a clock, we would pretend that's quarter till something. 12. And then when I drop it, it should go up like that. And it should land, it land at about 11 o'clock. Mm -hmm. See, this? maybe this was the pair that we're not to. Oh, there's yeah. the ones. Those are way are too loose. Tuned? Yeah. No, see how they go all the way closed? Yeah. Those are too loose. I need to tighten my tension on that one. Let's see what these do. So let's drop those. Oh, that good old pair. They're a little bit yeah. too tight, maybe. Or too loose, I mean. Too loose. But they don't have a screw. But they do have a screw. Oh, they do. They do. Yes, they do. Okay. And that's something to look for when you buy a pair of scissors. Yeah, right? because you should never have a pair of scissors that don't have a screw sharpened. Because their screw Did would you be know loose. That? They would be. Yeah. <laughs> They'd be like us that have a loose screw. Yeah. No. Like, okay, say for instance. Well, these. you know, these. These oh, don't have. Oh. Those don't have a screw. Buckley. They don't. Yeah, you would never have those sharpened. I would never have those sharpened. And the reason being is because no, here's so here's if, another pair. If they can't get them, let me just find a pair of scissors. Here. Well, excuse me. <laughs> don't have a, How many can't. pair of scissors yeah. do we have here? These all have screws. Well, because you buy good scissors. Okay. Uh, these, for instance, they don't have a screw. So when they sharpen them, the sharpener can only go back so far. So if you're using your scissors way back here, never it leaves sharp. a little. It leaves a little um, dull. Uh, divot. A little Dang. divot. Thank you. A little divot in them. So you know, you, yeah, you want to buy. You want to buy scissors that uh, if you if they're good scissors and you want to have them sharpen, uh, yeah, you should. And the, you know, that's why dingers were. Made the way They're they the were. They're the king. I mean, I to this day. Are they good? Are you raising it up to the 45? Are yours? Yep. Those are good. Those are tightened well. Are these are the scissors that lay by my sewing machine. The, well, these, yeah, I have two pair of these, <laughs> coinkadinkly. Obviously, one needs service. Now, here's the other thing. When you go to the Ginger company, uh -huh. they they will, when you buy a pair of Ginger, is it Ginger? Or, is it that the right way to say yes, it? Yes, Ginger. Okay. When you buy a pair of Ginger scissors, you can send them back to Ginger and only pay the shipping charges, and they will, and sharpen, they will sharpen, sharpen you. Them. Do not, and I, I hate to say this, but we, we have had people try to sharpen them and actually damage them. Correct. So I would suggest sending them out. And, you know, get some friends together. Put them all in one box and label them and send them out and then get them back because uh, you want them good and sharp. It's like a rotary cutter. You don't want a dull pair of scissors because right. you have the same, you know, we get our stubby people again. We've, we've had the stubby discussion. <laughs> yeah. Even but, your embroidery scissors, you want, see, these are too loose. But too loose. It, even your embroidery scissors, my Ginger ones have a... A, yeah. uh, but I would send these to Ginger to get them sharpened. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. let somebody else sharpen don't, them. Don't let anybody touch your Gingers. Would you take them to the guy who sharpens your lawnmower blade to sharpen no. your scissors? Not my Ginger scissors, I wouldn't. <laughs> Maybe these, I would. Yeah, I might take my kitchen scissors. Kitchen aid, kitchen, kitchen scissors. Aid makes scissors. Oh, wow. Oh, those are kitchen scissors. Yeah. Well, I didn't even bring those. I didn't well, you think said about scissors. Those. Well, good. That's true. That, that That's true. We should have specified. Yeah. The type so, of scissor. So I, I, I went through the whole house <laughs> for six days. Now, these are only the scissors that aren't in 
projects. <laughs> well, why would you have Because I probably have 25 okay. pairs of these. But these are awesome sauce. These are like the cheapest scissor. I know, but they're and amazing. they are. Do they have the a screw? Sharp, no, they don't have a screw. Are you kidding me? Well, I just dollars check buy it. another pair. That's the point. Oh, Learn for a lesson. Sex. But these, okay, these will go on an airplane. <laughs> these I have in every cross stitch amazing. project. I mean, they are so cool. We sell I them. love these. And on the same uh, kind of deal it yep. are these. Same you know, well. But they're, they're spring. super sharp. And, and, but, have and these opener. have a little shrink. And they have a bottle opener. And they have a little um, cap yeah, protector they on them. The bottle opener. And I really like that I they have. I think it's a bottle opener. It is. I read the advertising on our, our display. No. Yes. Yes, that is a You've bottle opener. You've got to be kidding me. No. It's on the display. Oh, you're, you're okay. Cracking me in. Well, I don't <laughs> know what kind of bottles them. you're opening. That's why you bought it for opening Beer bottles. Beer, Beer bottles. bottles on well, it. you could, you know, the tab that's sometimes hard to get under. Uh -huh. I bet you could do that. That ta that's tab true. on the Coke that's or true. whatever. Yeah, but 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 these truly, we have these are the best little scissors. I'm telling you, and they're so, amazing. And so my girlfriends all know how I love to sew little. So they decided to buy me a little <laughs> pair of scissors. Oh, have no. you ever? Yes, I have. I didn't even think about oh, those wait, scissors. Wait, wait, I didn't wait. do good what homework. Do I have? Oh, what does he have in his hand? Let's see. Do I have any little? No. Well, those are little. They're little, but not. You know, I had some little ones. I didn't even think about bringing those. Okay, so these are pretty little. These. Oh, there they are. are. There they are. Hold there on. they are. Yeah. They are, oh, those Whoa. are pretty fun. Oh, and they're brown. They're kind of a horse yeah, color. Yeah, I love that. Oh, those are. But they're. Ugh. They're kind of tight. Now I no paid screw. I paid twenty five dollars for these. Yeah, they're, they're like, miniature. They're like from I don't know. They got this tassel, and they're really pretty, and they're exactly the same as these. Oh my $3. gosh, they are. These are like three dollars. Well, they these, these are like, don't have the tassel and the well, little they leather don't. holder. Heck no, the leather holder. The leather holder's two bucks. Isn't that pretty though? <laughs> <laughs> well, and it, it came in this nice little. Oh, the box case. is another. I've two never, bucks. I've never, heck, I've never even used them. I mean, you've got. This little silver label. You've oh, got the whole dollar. thing. Okay. I mean, they're like from France or someplace. I can see twenty dollars. Uh, France made in, ja in Japan. In Japan. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. So anyway, when I got home and found these in my thing, I thought those look exactly like this. And they are. I, just pay. I bought these at QuiltCon. You know how when you're at something. Yeah. Oh yeah. You want to buy something you wanna a memory. Buy. You a wanna, memory. Right. That's I get what it. my QuiltCon memory was right there. Right. See, I just get tattoos. So. Oh well. Okay. <laughs> All right, it's just a so, little different. But I'm telling you right now, we have these in the store. They're and if you do embroidery, the these are these are the bee's knees. The, the cross stitch, uh, embroidery, uh, any kind of handwork. These are fun and they're so cheap that you can literally have them in every project you own. And and I think that's key when when it because I did, I was kind of like, well, I'm not gonna go around the house and get every little pair of scissors, but like by my chair where I stitch, I got little scissors in there. I right. in my English paper piecing, I've got a little set of scissors sure, in there. I mean, sure. Binding, do you have a little binding I have kit? A little, everything. You've got yeah. scissors in there. So, so yeah, I mean, I, I didn't bring all those. <laughs> I was trying to help you out here. I'm I trying to make sure you not look like a hoarder. Oh, I am a, I'm a scissor hoarder. <laughs> She's a scissor hoarder. I'm a scissor but, addict. But the point is, I guess, you can never have too many scissors, right? Correct, especially Never. if they're green. <laughs> <laughs> because I have a little thing for green I think we need to get some of these to share. I, yeah, now these are super awesome. They're the Omni grids. Oh, they are Omni grids. Yes. I saw the sure. Moda. And let me tell you, these are <gasps> they have a screw. Not, I know, they are very, very They have nice. a screw. They retail for about $16. We should carry these in the store. Because, I mean, they are yummy, delicious. Boy, they got a nice point, Oh, they too. are sharp. So, here, here's the thing about a nice point. We mm -hmm. want to keep it. Don't be using it to go eh, yeah. and dig on things mm -hmm. and, you know, clean your teeth mm -hmm. or clean your dogs, whatever. You need to keep that point. Is It's it's pointy for a reason. Mm -hmm. So, don't be jamming your yeah. scissors into things and ruining yeah. That's They're why nice. the cover is so nice. Don't use it as a screwdriver. No, no. <laughs> yeah. Get a screwdriver. That's what it's for. Right. And we these, could do a screwdriver study. We could. Right. Do <laughs> now, these Fiskars, the micro tips, I like them too. Um, it's it's a wider blade. It's a, a heftier it blade, I'd say. A heftier blade. It is wide. But still, and it's a more uh, elongated um, 
presence, I guess, is what you would say. It, it's longer. just longer. Well, I don't know that the blade's long. Well, yeah, the blade is The blade longer. is a little longer. It's a little but it's heftier. heftier. You're right. It's heftier. heavier. So, but I like these two, but I like them because they're green. That's just why I buy them. I, I'm, I'm not kidding apparently you. Apparently, you liked them three times. But, but they're awesome for wool because they are heftier. Where these are a little bit more petite. Yes. And the wool is, is just a little much for them. Uh, I would go with this for the wool, snipping wool. Okay, so that's, and that, I think that's the important thing to talk about here too. Uh -huh. We need to talk about why, why would you have a big scissor, a little scissor, I mean, scissor is scissor, right? If I pick up a pair of scissors and I need to cut something, they're all going to cut. Correct. So why would I want a scissor this big? And this big in my sewing set. I think that's that's what we got to ask is why would you have more than one set of scissors? Yeah. So for me, if I'm like when I used to do, and I, do you have we don't we don't have really true dressmaker shears here. They're yes, big, right do. here. Big big ones. There you go. Oh, wow. So these are these are the ones. These are the big puppies. I mean, these are going to really cut long, straight lines. For like a dressmaker, correct. For garments, or if you're cutting things um, that need that long straight. Where if I'm cutting just little short things, I don't need that much knife, so to speak. I guess yeah. it's a knife. Blade. Yeah. Blade. 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 So these are the kind I used to carry. I mean, not carry. I used to use when I had my quilt shop because my cutting. We use rotary cutters when we cut our fabric for we customers. Do. My cutting table had slots in it. Yep. Like at the, the Joanne's factory. Yeah, I yeah my dad name. made it for me as a matter of fact. Aww. Aww. And so I would put this in the slot and it would yes. go. But the reason I liked it was, again, the long presence of the blade. I mean, the length of the blade was really nice. But it had that spring action. Spring and so is I could awesome. cut all day long and still go home right. and be able to use my hand. Now, did you ever tear your fabric? Or Never. Did you Except for my backing, your backs, yeah, yeah my backs. Yeah. So but, that, that's another discussion. But these, uh, these all, I brought several. Uh, these are kind of like a utility scissor, okay? Mm -hmm. Cutting wire, you could cut wire with these. You could cut uh, those chenille blankety things. Well, and that's what this specific scissor. See how short that little blade is uh -huh. there? That's what, and this these are one of my favorite scissors I use, and it's the spring part. Yeah. But if you're doing a rag quilt and you're going to cut every square, every right. half inch, why I like this one is the blade is only that long. Mm -hmm. And it keeps me, with those, I had a tendency to Get cut it too, too deep. Too deep. But this allows me to just, if I'm doing a rag quilt, man, I can just cut. It just, it stops me in the right mm -hmm. place. <laughs> we used to recommend these for that, but uh, th oh, see how much heavier, dutier those are than this. These, the spring would break, the blade would cra uh, cr um, not curl, bend, the blade would bend. And not saying these aren't good scissors. These right. are excellent scissors. But for those chenille blankets. Oh, this or, is a dream. Is that what I'm trying to say? Well, rag, quilts. rag quilts. Rag, rag quilts. quilts. I know I wasn't saying it right. Rag, rag quilts. quilts. So anyway, so spring-loaded scissors are a newfangled thing. And they're awesome. And they are awesome, and they do have their purpose. And these are these are the snip kind, and then these are the, the uh, big, you know, for cutting yardage, and then these are the utility ones for cutting uh, multiple layers and hardware-y things. Right. So that's that's the spring loaded. Do you have any spring loaded? I do. Just yeah, just, just that these, one. Okay. And there might be now. I haven't I haven't opened this. Oh, what is this? Okay. Well, do we sell these? Well, this was an anniversary thing, kind of like your anniversary rotary cutters you yeah, had the other day. Yeah, yeah. This was an anniversary set that Janome did a few years ago that I have, and and I love box. You're like me. I like a box. Uh, I love a so box. So this is. <gasps> oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. Yeah, uh, isn't that cool? It's missing, a pair. it's missing a pair. And I don't, I can't figure Shoot. out where they are. I'm not sure. They're in a project. They're in a project somewhere. somewhere. But yeah, nice. this is like the, the queen. creme de la creme. It even creme. has a scalpel. It does, and this was like, and it has replacement blades. This was a two hundred dollar set when we got it in, and I just can we get more of those? I've never <laughs> seen them because you know I'm needing some scissors. Now there is a set that they make from. Um, I think it's some embroidery place that we can get that's a really nice set similar mm -hmm. to this. But this has, like, these are for getting into an embroidery hoop. Uh -huh. So, and you've got some of those, I'm mm -hmm. sure. I do. But they're bent. So if my embroidery hoop is up here, I can get down in it. 
and cut around the embroidery hoop. I also so. use mine for uh, my punch needle. Oh yeah, punch needle would be perfect. Uh -huh. That makes perfect sense. Yeah, yeah. So that's this is kind of yours a... are curved where mine are bent and yeah. straight. So I'll hold those up. So they yours can see. are bent and curved, and mine are bent and straight. Right. And these these are specifically for an embroidery hoop. Yeah. That's that is yeah, what that's, that's made the for. Purpose. And then these I call them the duck bill, but they're they're really yes. I have my duck bills. They're applique for, for applique. applique. For getting really close to the fabric, but not cutting into yeah. the fabric. So you're going to cut in here and then kind of come up, and that keeps you from getting the fabric cut. Yeah. So it's these, a shield. It is a shield. That's a perfect mm -hmm. word. Yeah. Yeah. So those Again, are, ginger. Yeah. Well, these say Janome. Honestly, oh, I well, wouldn't those be... those all would say Janome. I wouldn't be too surprised if they didn't have them made by the Ginger Company. Maybe. Because, see, they have screws in them, Maybe. so that's a yeah. good... This yeah. also came with some, like, these kind of snips. Do you yeah. have those? Yeah, oh, you know what okay. we have? This is my favorite These thing. are awesome scissors. Are, I love those. We sell these here in the store. They're called yeah, they're Gypsy amazing. Quilter. And a lot of the long armors love these. Yes. Because Again, they're they'll... Curved. they're and they're small. I mean, they're, you know, they can just be right available. Yeah. They're not heavy. And they have that curve again. Uh-huh. These and do too. These are actually a serrated blade. If oh, you can yeah. see, I don't know, you may not be able to see it on the on the video. Uh-huh. But it is truly a serrated blade. Now, how do you sharpen a serrated blade? Uh, send it to the company, I yeah. guess. I yeah. don't know. You're not, I, I wouldn't I think try. serrated blades sharpen themselves is what that I understand. Be. But it is a serrated blade, which mm -hmm. means it really, 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 really cuts. Mm -hmm. But these are fun. When you see old, the design of scissors, which is kind of, I wish I'd have done more history, but I can remember, I did a presentation one time on scissors, but ages ago I slept. But scissor design hasn't changed much. No. It, this Except is, for the, the newfangled thing is the, the, the spring. Uh, spring. That's the newfangled, that's the newest thing that's come out with scissors. Spring. There's not, you can't improve on a, you know, a, there's not a better mousetrap built. Right. right. And well, and another thing that has come out is the titanium. Yes, which are nice. Uh, the titanium blade and the, an, another thing that has come out is a Teflon blade. So I brought these this, so we can see. Do you like see. the Teflon? I mean, well, if I'm cutting tape, if I'm, mm. it's more for scrapbookers who's cutting things like stickers and things that have goo on them. And so, no, these would not be in my sewing. These are these are in my crafting. Room. Yeah. Okay. So let's let's talk about the big naughty no no with huh. fabric scissors. Huh. Use them for paper. Never use your fabric scissors for paper. Right. Right. Never, because uh, that is okay. Like, so use to be use home. somebody else's fabric well, scissors fine. for your no, paper. You know, <laughs> I'm gonna have to buy Apparently these. Apparently, Dawn think. has some. What I'm gonna have to buy these. What is it? What gotta, are you doing over I here? I thought we could open them without what is opening it? them. What but, is it? What is hey, it? I'm gonna take my craft scissors and I'm gonna cut into them. Oh, those Teflon scissors work pretty darn good. There. Yeah, they're good. They're good. Okay, okay so see these. <gasps> these are oh, little magnets. So like, okay, these are for paper. There. And then these. Oh, it says paper. These are for fabric. Oh, look, it has a little quilt. Look on the other side. Yeah, it has a little it's quilt, a quilt thing. Does this have a piece of paper? Uh -huh. Oh, it does. It has a little piece of paper. So those little people in your house who can't read, mm -hmm. you probably shouldn't be touching scissors anyway. Mm -hmm. But then they can't say, well, I didn't read it. So well, yeah, then there's, there's a the picture. fabric ones. Look at that. And, and they're magnetic. Then, and then, where'd my other one go? These are so darn cute. These say... Spools, thread. thread. <gasps> Is there just three? The There's package? only three. Three in the see. package. Where's the wool? Oh, it's only ten ninety nine. Three right. How many fabric. Do we have? I don't know. So, several. Oh. Maybe five, four. Paper. So isn't that fun? That's awesome. That's fun. That's awesome. Yeah. Because yeah, the, and and the reason you don't use paper. In fabric scissors, is it dulls the scissors faster? It's now I've heard. Uh, I heard a, a lecture one time, and a lady said. Uh, what is paper? It's fiber. Why can't you cut it? Oh. Okay, so you cut some paper with your fabric scissors and see if you won't be buying yourself a right, new pair exactly. of fabric scissors. Well, you're going to have to have them sharpened more often. Right, exactly. Okay. So go back, back to okay, this. Okay, well, back to this fun thing. Ugh. We digress. Okay, and then, of course, now, I'm this lusting is, after these, you know. This is just a standard, you know, just my little... Uh-huh. I got to have... Sewing scissors. It's kind of a sewing scissor. And then this is a nice... Feel the weight of these. Yeah. This is a nice... Now, this is what you're going to be cutting your dress make. Yeah, your patterns out with if you're a dressmaker, your yardage. Yeah. You know, when you're a dress 
dressmaker, you don't deal in fat quarters. Oh, no. 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 You know, you probably dealing, don't even know what one is. Right. You're dealing with three or four, or yeah. five yards Big of chunks. fabric. And the bigger you are, the bigger, more fabric exactly. you're using. Hello. 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 <laughs> Ask us how you know. <laughs> So anyway, so the, yeah, these and they've got a really good. Oh, they have a nice way. Yes, they do. Because you do. Peter's got to touch them. He can't stand okay. it. Okay, there you go, Peter. But they do. They have a nice weight to them, and they when you're cutting, especially with like when you're cutting garments, you want that weight against the fabric because uh -huh. it's laying down. You have to push against it. It's just. <gasps> and you don't pinch your fingers because it has a, a guard. Little thingy. I know. See, these They're are very nice. Nice big guard in there that very you can't nice. get caught. Yeah, I'm so lucky enough that. for this. And then here's your little bitty, and you probably have some of these too. Well, I didn't bring one because I knew we had some here in the shop. So, so these I have like a these. real oh. nice little point. Yeah, now these are Tula's. You know how Tula has her own set of everything. But these are very, 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 very. They're uh -huh. putting against my hands so you can see. Yeah. They have like a little point kind of. So you can like get up under things if you wow. need to and kind of get in between things if you need to. So um, they have the support of the heftiness here, but the tininess there. Does that make sense? Yep, 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 yep. yep That's yep, what yep, you want. Yep. Four inch large ring micro tip scissors. Okay, there you go. Micro tip. So they're calling that the micro tip. Which is, which is a nice little scissor. I like it. So that's the Tula Pink. Uh, micro tip and then, scissor. You know, because it's a set, they give you scissors. And then they give you a little exacto knife, which, you know, so why? And okay. I think these were another pair of scissors. I kind of think they were just a little straight tip, like this kind of thing. Uh -huh. They were just a little, like uh -huh. an embroidery scissor. Yeah. And that's probably why they're not in here, because they're in my embroidery yeah, projects. right. Now, this is Tula's oh, that's a version nice duck, of the little duck. Yeah, I love that name. The little uh, embroidery scissor. I love that, too. And it's, again, bent, mm -hmm. so you can get down in between uh, the Yeah, I, I hadn't thought about that with your needle yeah. punching, but with needle punch, that would be a great great scissor to have. I Another thing I that. really like, I'm just going back here and showing you what we've got. Uh, I love these. See, now I just, I've jerry-rigged myself a pair here. These are just an, a pair of uh, just generic right uh scissors so like when you're sitting in the chair at home or i demo a lot of stuff and i don't want to be putting my scissors or having them fall down between the cushions this is super nice there you go bonk, ba -bonk. now that's got it in a cap see now what i have and this is what i need and you'll see these a lot of times these are it's a zinger is what i call it a i don't know uh -huh. what it's called but i call it a zinger uh-huh and so a i can a retractor so i can like put that there now the problem is this you know kind of uh -huh. kill me but but i don't I've, have a cover it doesn't have a cover i can yeah, use scissors why, with a cover that's why this is so nice i like that but i do have my zinger sometimes <laughs> i'll even like attach it to a, there's a place on my sewing machine I can latch it and then I can pull it down and use it there so yeah or uh, I like my if, if you like have an armchair cover mm -hmm. you could you could snip it onto that uh, yeah. yeah you could yeah but then you might tear your might clothes strip. I but, don't know but 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 uh, there, there is a way to keep them so nice yeah the my fear is I would take it out and <laughs> I would forget where I laid my scissors Oh no, you're supposed to always put them. If you yes. had put them back where they belong. I know. Do you see? get the message? There's a little putting it yeah. back where it belongs. Yeah. Going on. yeah, good message. So, anyway, these are available here at the shop, too. Those are nice, and too. And I might have to get me a pair of these because I don't have a pair that have you know, that nice cover. So, here's what I figured out we do these things, and it just like makes money yeah, for the shop because then we go us. buy stuff. Now, these, I wanted to talk to you about these K oh, Buckley. Oh, K Buckley. I love uh, my K Buckley. K -Buckley. Here, she has and these, here. and hers are all, uh, except for this pair. I don't think this pair okay. is uh, ser serrated. Oh. I don't think this pair is serrated. Serrated, thank you. These absolutely mm -hmm. are the most See? awesome pair. Oh, we got green. I got green. Oh, yeah, we got green. Mm. Heck, yeah. Um, these are the most awesome little snips for wool that you ever did see. Wool thread. Uh, little teeny tiny pieces of wool. It, I use all my K. Karen Buckley scissors for wool. Well, and that's something to talk about. Uh -huh. If you're doing a lot of wool work and you have like, well, my scissors just won't stay sharp. It's because wool is sort of like paper. It wears it. It out really quickly. does. It's yeah. it's it's a um, 
It's a dense fiber. There you go. That's a the dense one. fiber that really does wear on your yeah. uh, sharpening. That's why the serrated edges, because I do, I think I've heard that the serrated edges self sharpen. That makes sense. That's, yeah. That, that absolutely. But they are. These are <laughs> these are Karen Buckley's, and my cover is in my little thing beside my sewing machine. Uh -huh. And and these are too. And I and I agree. I think they're the best. I don't know how long they've offered serrated in this size, but I do like them. Uh -huh. I think they do stay nice and sharp. Yeah. Um, so and these nice have selection. a little curve to them also. I don't own these. These are her newest ones that she's coming out with, and they are a little curved and are very nice. So I'm going to have to buy me a pair of those. And they say perfect, and they are perfect. I mean, I, I would buy Ginger, and then I would buy Karen Buckley. I yes. think if I could, yes. if I, yes. if my budget would allow to buy yes. whatever I want, yeah. Ginger, you, you have to, if you're going to start, I don't care if you're going to be garments or whatever, mm -hmm. you're gonna do, you've got to start with a pair of these of Gingers. Start uh -huh. there. And then when you start looking at your little scissors, I do care oh, here, exactly. here's a pair of my keys. Well, see, look. Yeah. Look, we're twinsies. And, and I'm thinking that Tim Holtz has his scissors made right. by the same company that make these because they're the very same scissor. Yeah, that uh, makes sense. Serrated edges. They're the very same scissor. Now, uh, on Tim Holtz, if you turn them one way, they're a straight edge, and on you, the other way, they're serrated. Really? That's so, cool. Yeah. So how do you know? Well, you can look at them. Uh, it, it, when you buy them, it says the name is the serrate. I think the name is the serrated or the name is the, the name is the straight. So if you've got them so you can see the name, you're cutting with the straight. And if, you, and if you're not, you're cutting with the serrated. Oh, yeah. that's curious. Isn't that something? So anyway, uh, what, oh, I was going to get show you these. These oh, have I a little those. hook on the end. I love those. Maybe that's what's missing. That might be what's yeah, missing. You're, missing, from your missing your you're missing your hooks. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, this is if you need to get underneath something. Uh, just you know, very much like those micro tips. Like on cross uh, stitch. Or like on cross stitch, uh, but I don't know if you can see that here. Let me. Oh, it's another one of those I can't take out. But anyway, and I didn't bring mine, so I'm sorry. But they just have a little hook on the end, so that you can get under That's it. That's very cool. Sort of like. If you just didn't want to get out your uh, seam ripper and you had one little stitch you needed right. to take out or a couple little stitches to take out. Yeah, I can I can totally see that. Oh, she's got the craft scissors. See that now these let's let's go back a minute though, because okay. these are what oh, this was these. our only choice. I mean forever we had we had these pinking shoot. We had yeah, we had those two pair of scissors right there. And we there. had our uh, ginger pinking shears. Where are my ginger? Here they are. Aren't these? Yeah, these and are these my are fingers. So these that's where gingers. I was at. But, but this was it. This was the only shape you had. To, you could cut a straight line or you could cut a pinking line. That was the choice. That was the choice. That was it. And, we, and why would you need pinking shears, Cappy? Well, I when I did garments, mm -hmm. like when I did silk and satin and wedding dresses and all that, I would cut the seams. Now, I would usually sew it, but then I would go back and I would do pinking shears because I didn't have a serger. And what did the pinking shears do? They keep it from fraying. They keep the fabric from just going and going everywhere it gives it just makes the fabric stop the fray thing right and that's what's good i mean i think you could probably do rag quilts with these i've wondered before if i couldn't cut my rag squares with pinking mm -hmm. shears mm -hmm. and then sew it together and then i wouldn't have to go back and go chick, 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 yeah chick. i mean it wouldn't rag as much but it i don't always yeah. want all the rag yeah. i just want the thing so okay but you know, it's whatever you want. You, I I think these would be good to use with uh, batiks. I think you could get a really fun edge with a batik with mm -hmm. pinking shears. Well, but so I wanted to bring these to show you. Those are cool. Have you I ever like seen the these? box. <gasps> oh. What on Let earth? Let me find some fabric. Okay, that looks like something you'd see in a doctor's office that you don't want to visit. <laughs> I'm just saying that's a little scary. Look at this. It's a rotary cutter scissor combine. Oh good heavens. That is wild. Isn't that just the bee's knees? That's like a scooter. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and then oh, you get pinks from... on both sides. Isn't, Isn't that, that fun? Cool. You could cut pasta with that. You could cut pasta. I'm trying to find a date. There's I no don't date. know. No, I bought them at some flea market. Oh, thing. but they do have the good housekeeping uh -huh. guarantee approval. Well, you never yeah, see that yeah. anymore. Yeah. Oh, they're Floriani. Yeah. Oh. Pinkers. There's a patent on here, but there's no date. For left USA. And left and right hand use. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is, these are, oh, wow. Aren't they fun. awesome? Aren't they a fun thing? 
That is unique. I do have a uh, a definite problem oh, wait, wait. when it comes to. Uh, oh, there's your. You didn't turn in your warranty. Darn. <laughs> Which yeah, there's no there's date. New York, New York. There is a patent on there. I just said there was a patent. That is cool. Oh, there's an old $6. needle in there. Look at the needle. Yeah. There's a needle laying underneath there. Yeah. Ew. That's an oldie, but a goodie. $6. Okay. Well, Six bucks. Six dollars for me. Wow. I paid $6 at the flea market for them. Oh, I you love it. The flea market? I love it. I love mm -hmm. it. Aren't they awesome? Those are very cool. Very so cool. those are my, that's my Thank whole you. collection of pinking shoes right there. Why do I need so many? Oh, I don't know. Because, because we do. I do. But, but the pinking shear, which was an amazing tool for years, led to these, right. which are, oh my gosh. Right, right, fun. right. So you've got these, and these are for paper. Yeah. But you're not going to be cutting fabric with well, these. Well, but you know what? We did some fabric cutting with them. And they didn't... Not with these you didn't, because these have all been used for paper, so they're kind of okay. paper Well, we had, we had a set in the store that I don't think had ever been used, and uh -huh. we did use it for some fabric stuff to get some fun decorative uh -huh. edges and stuff. And they worked. I mean, they weren't spectacular, but yeah. but it, it did cut out what we want. Uh-huh. Excellent. But they are kind of fun. They are fun. You know, you've got your Fiskar ones. You've got your, I don't know what all the... You know, there's different ones, but uh, and you can buy them by the set. And this is a corner trimmer. Oh, my word. Can you believe it? Yeah, a little corn rounder, corner rounder. Oh, rounds the corner. Yeah, okay. a little corner rounder. I just draw a circle and cut it. But. Do you? Well, <laughs> I just okay. made a bag over the weekend, and that's what I use. Okay, well, this is for paper. That, yeah, there, yeah. paper again. So there's my paper, fancy, schmancy. But don't uh, don't okay, put paper, fine. scissors in your thing. Have a set just for paper. Oh, yeah. Now, we talked about fobs. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you well, my little. Yeah. Did you bring fobs? Oh, I brought fobs. Okay, so the other thing to do, and, you know, we talked about with rotary cutters how important it is to tag your stuff. So this is my little scissor <laughs> fob, and this is, we actually sell this kit to make this in the store. Um, but this is a little thing, and it hangs off my scissors. So if I go to an a event, right, and somebody grabs my scissors and wouldn't put them back. Exactly, hello. I could identify them by my little fob. So I love these, but you know, to a retreat, you might go and everybody would have one of those. Right, right. Those, so that would work. But yeah, because they're fun. available everywhere. So. But yeah, so have fun little, and those are just as easy as taking a bunch of beads and stringing them together. And, and I've them even on been thing. known to just, if I get there, and like I can't put my name on these anywhere, I just tied a piece of fabric on them. And hope nobody has the same fabric. Well, I looked around. <laughs> I looked around. She looked around and made sure. Does anybody have this fabric? Because I've tied it on my scissors. It's like when you, it's with your luggage when you go to the airport and you tie a bow exactly. or something. So That's exactly. That's exactly what the it is. Every 40 gazillion black suitcases you go, uh -huh. mine's the one. You know what mine has on it? What? A, a flamingo. flamingo. <laughs> Can I a flamingo. say? Yeah. All right. Have we exhausted the, dis dis what did we not talk about? Well, uh, fancy schmancy scissors. Yeah, there's fancy just ones. ones you buy just because they're, they're pretty. Fun. Yeah, see? These, you know? Those were yeah, flamingo. Yeah, those are flamingo. But I have a pair. One time... I had a customer who loved me. She still does. Well, love you have me. lots of people love you. And she she knew I was going to go to um, a craft show or a fleet. It was actually a quilt market, I think. And she says, "I want you to spend some money on yourself." So Aww, she gave me some money. How sweet! And she says, "I want you to buy something that just is just something you Special. love. You yep. would love." So I bought these things right here. Now these are Dovo scissors. They are no longer being made. They like are the, the creme de la creme, yes, of the uh, scissor world today. People are Get in there. loving, loving the Dovos. But unfortunately, they're made in Germany. And uh, I bought this set because these are fabulous for wool also. I can see the little wool bits on them. Yeah, I've been see, using them. yeah, I've used them. All. This is the pair, my favorite pair, for doing wool. And then these, of course, are my uh, embroidery ones. Oh, look how ones. pretty! They, but they sleek. feel so good. Yeah, very. Um, oh, those are nice. Like a pewter finish. And then, but what I really loved was the. Uh, oh, and here's another. Another fob. Fob. Another fobs. Mm -hmm. But this one I really loved was the case. Well, you need to, we need to make a pattern and make that case. That's stinking cute. Isn't that fun? Yeah. And then from the same company, uh, this is an in, uh, manicure set. But I use it as my <laughs> as my Perfect. little 
carry carry around embroidery scissors, but aren't they beautiful? Mm, they aren't are. they just beautiful? And then here's the for to keep the needles in. And then this is a how many times do you need a get a mm -hmm. fingernail because you've got a fingernail snag and then a pair of tweezers so perfect. this is perfect for my uh just carry around in my like embroidery it. stuff yeah i love that so i think and then oh no i haven't I'm oh not you're not done, done. No. i'm sorry then i got this <gasps> pair of spooky <gasps> scissors because i thought they were kind of funny uh they don't work for diddly squat <laughs> But they're funny looking, and I like them. So, so see, you buy scissors for all kinds of reasons. But to get down to the nitty-gritty at my sewing table, I looked around at my sewing table yesterday before I packaged all this up. And how many pairs of scissors oh. do you think I had at my sewing station? Just at your sewing station? Just at my sewing station. I'm going to say 20. Two. Two? I only had... What? My gingers for my long cutting. Okay. And my snips for snipping my thread. Okay, so that was so it. This my little bitty had. box compared to your vastness is acceptable. I would I, say thank yes. I don't, so I don't want to scissor shame anybody. No, I don't. don't want, I don't. Shame. I don't want anybody to go. I only no. have two pair of scissors because, no. according to the queen of scissors here, these two are all you need. And well, I think you're right. at your sewing at machine. At your sewing machine. At your sewing machine. But these would get you by. These would get you by with anything because these could go in your embroidery. Yes. Uh, these could go in my wool. Yes. These could go anywhere fabric they goes. Can. Yeah. Uh, I would probably not use these on my wool. I, well, I don't know though. I use my very expensive. Yeah, well, they'll sharpen it. Lifetime they'll sharpening. Yeah. So yeah. use them. That's what they're, they're for. They're beautiful. They're not green. That's the only drawback. Well, that is a huge. You know what I have back. at my sewing machine? You okay. Guys. Well, you have at your sewing machine. And I use them for thread snips. <laughs> I have my gingers. Yeah. Big, big girl. And then this is what I do. Hold on, see if I can get this on camera. Well, here, you want me to hold the camera? I go, here, are these see. left or right-handed? They're right-handed. Right -handed. Okay, so I'll pick them up. These aren't doing them. Are they too tight? They're too something. Apparently yours need tensioned. <laughs> those are an old pair of Oh, pies. here we go. This is what I do. Oh, so I take them, and then I do the thing that Dawn taught me, where you uh, pull out your chain from when you chain piece, uh -huh. and then I just go to the tips like this and go like this. Uh -huh. So you're making And I little. use them as thread snips. Uh -huh. Oh, look at that. Well, there there you go. go. I just taught you guys Snappy. something. You did. Snappy. Yeah. 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 And then I can use my fancy scissors. Yeah. Well, yeah, fancy scissors are fun, but yeah. But at the end of the day. At the end of the day, it, I surprised myself thinking, you know, what do I have, use every single right, day? Right. And these are the two pairs yeah. of scissors I use every so, you know, single day. Now that you say that, when I cleaned up, these are the two I picked up from by side my sewing machine. So my gingers you know. and these, these K buckets. We're exactly alike! <laughs> we kind of knew that. Yeah, we kind of knew <laughs> we that. We kind of figured out we're yeah. like sisters from another mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, that's at the end of the day, this is what you want to start with. And when you get to this level of scissor, we love you too. <laughs> You can still thing. be part of the family Absolutely. if you have a scissor Absolutely. fetish. And post <laughs> pictures of your scissors. We want how to many, see. How many pairs of shoes did you say you had? Well, this is a problem. Yeah, see? <laughs> That's another conversation. It's, it's kind of the same thing. Yeah. I don't spend my money on shoes and clothes. I spend yeah. my money on gadgets. Well, there you go. We all so, have our addictions, but, don't we? But, oh, you might have one of these oh, for Christmas. I know. So pretty. Those are fun to make. Yeah, it's beads. It if is. you guys don't it's understand beady. what it is, it's little bitty tiny beads that she's made a little, is it a... a um, sandcastle. Sandcastle. And I thought it was a lighthouse. It's peyote beading. Peyote beading. Look yeah. at that. There you can that see the You can see the beading better and on that. I think there's a YouTube video on that. I show a little bit yeah, about how you, to do that. You showed a how-to video on our YouTube channel. On how and to well, if I don't get one for Christmas, I might have to Dawn, get one. you can make one. I know, I might have well, to Well, like, you know, that motor retreat thing, yeah. make 25 of these, yeah. what do you think? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead and make 25. Yeah. But yeah, so. these are little peyote beading. They're fun. This is yeah. very fun. Yeah. Okay. So. I think we did it. These are my loves. These right here are my tell. passion. Well, see. These are my. So yeah, you, oh, you've got lust, your passion. You lust. Okay. And we've got and we've got our and sewing got machine what we scissors. Need. These are these are what we need. And then all this is gravy. <laughs> so there you have it. That's our story about scissors. If you got more questions, call us, ask. But something next. I don't know what we're gonna do next. Who knows? Put we'll it in the subscription in the yes, comment if, box. Yes. If you want to know yeah. something about something that is mindless and useless, <laughs> let us know. We'll talk about it. We will. We're good at it. Thanks. Okay, bye. Happy stitching.